word problems and speed, velocity, and acceleration. For example, a bus travels 60 km in 8 hours. What is the average speed of the bus? Okay. Take note class. Um, sa pagsulat, kailangan po may solution we have given. And then, nangahanapin po natin yung speed. And then, yung value ng distance is 60 km. So, you need to write your 60 km. And our time is 8 hours. So, para makuha natin class ang 75 km per hour, we need to use this formula of getting the speed. So, take note class, kailangan ganito ang pagkasulat in solving the speed, velocity, and acceleration. Kailangan makikita po yan. And then, substitute the formula, speed, 60 km over 8 hours, you divide it, and then you will have 75 km per hour. R. Okay? Yun po yun. Paano po ninyo malalaman na ito yung formula ang gagamitin? If there is a key term or keyword that what is the average speed? So, ito yung gagamitin po. Okay? Na formula. Next. What is the speed of an airplane that flies 9,500 km in 10 hours? So, we need to find the clue or, di ba? Para mahanap natin. So, speed ang hinahanap ng airplane. So, we need to use this formula. Speed is equal distance over time. And then, write the given speed, question mark ang speed kasi yun po nga hanapin. And then, distance is 9,500 km. And the time is 10 hours. And then, substitute all the given numbers and then divide. 9,500 km divided by 10 hours, you will have 10 km per hour yung speed ng airplane. Okay? Okay, next. A storm is moving toward our ho your house at a speed of 35 km per hour. It is now 65 km away from your house. So, in what time will the storm reach your house? So, ang tinatanong dito is time. Okay, anong oras daw yung storm makakapunta sa inyong bahay? So, ang hanapin po natin ay time. So, question mark ang time. The speed is, this one, 35 km per hour. And the distance is 65 km per hour. So, ito po yung gagamitin natin, class, para makuha natin yung time. Okay, time is equal distance over speed. Okay, substitute all the value, the 65 kilometer over or divided by 35 kilometer per hour is equal to 1.85 hour. Sir, bakit wala pong kilometer? Kasi hinahanap po natin ay time. So, 1.85 hour lang po. Okay, hindi po pwedeng 1.85 km per hour kasi ang hinahanap lang naman natin ay time, hindi naman po distance. Okay, ito po yung unit niya, R. Tandaan po yan. Another is, Roy runs at the speed of 8 km per hour in 4 hours. Ngayon naman, ang hanapin natin dito ay distance, kanina ay time. What distance will he cover in that time? Okay, so ito po yung gagamitin natin, formula. So, distance is equal to speed multiplied by time of times time. <coughs> okay, distance ang hanapin, question mark. The speed of the given is 8 km per hour and the time is 4 hours. So, distance is equal to 8 km per hour times hours. Okay, instead of distance, di ba distance ang hinahanap? We need to cross out the R's, the unit R. So, you will have 80, 32 kilometer. Kasi distance po ang hinahanap. So, 32 kilometer po ang distance na si Roy makakover in that time of 4 hours. Okay? 32. Next, the train traveled 1,000 kilometers to the north 
to Divisorial, Manila in 5 hours, what is its velocity? Okay. Ngayon, gagamitin natin yung formula ng velocity na this velocity is equal distance over time. So, our velocity, question mark, and our distance, 1,000 km to the north, and our time is 5 hours. And then, isubstitute natin tong value class dito sa formula, and you will have 1,000 km to the north divided by 5 hours, you will have 200 km per hour to the north. Okay. Next example, a car advertisement states that a certain car can accelerate from rest to 80 km per hour in 7 seconds. Find the car's average acceleration. So, ibig sabihin, hanapin natin yung average acceleration. So, gagamitan po ba natin, o gagamitan natin class ng acceleration ng formula? Yung final velocity minus initial velocity over time. So, acceleration, question mark, yun po nga hanapin. Ang final velocity natin, obviously, 18 km per hour. Our initial velocity, 0. Bakit 0? Kasi rest. Diba pag ang isang vehicle ay nakarest, 0 po yung acceleration niya. So, 0 km per hour. So, the time would be 7 seconds. Okay? Ngayon, para makuha natin to class, kailangan po nating i-substitute itong mga values na to. From 80 km per hour minus 0 km per hour, okay, over 7 seconds, you will have 11.42 km per hour per second. Okay? Bakit ganito ang kanyang unit? Kasi wala naman pong second. Diba? Wala naman po yan. Wala. So, ibig sabihin, km per hour per second. Kung dalawang second, km per per second squared. Kung dalawa to, kilometer per hour squared. So, instead of tatlo po yung unit, okay, you will have 11.42 kilometer per hour per second. Next, a cheetah accelerate from 5 meter per second to 25 meter per second in a 4 seconds. What is the cheetah's average acceleration? So, again, gagamitan po natin ng acceleration na formula. Then, same procedure. Uh, kunin nyo po ang given, final velocity, initial velocity, and the time. So, substitute. And you will have 25 minus 5. And then, yung sagot po nun, i-divide po sa 4 seconds. And you will have 5 meter per second squared. Okay, that's the answer.